right, Winslow, where are you going next? It's been a minute. Um, I'm just under, I think, is this a tree? Sure. Okay, <laughs> I'm just sitting under the tree, um, polishing my new axe. Just wiping it with a cloth, kind of observing everything, because I spent a large chunk of my money. <laughs> mm -hmm. Could you roll a perception check for me? Yeah. Huh. Oh, there it goes. I was like, wow, that's crazy. Roll 20 just wrote a blank roll for you and didn't give me a number. But <laughs> I finally <laughs> wrote it. <laughs> huh, I wonder what she rolled. I'll never know. <laughs> but, um, so you look up and you kind of look over because you just have the sense of someone staring at you. And you just happen to see Gary just like giving a thumbs up and clapping. And just so happy that you're taking care of that axe. Like, he's just <laughs> really about it. <laughs> so, he just sees you from afar. <laughs> but, um, moving to Miles at cart 10, you walk up and you finally find that potion shop. Uh, yes, finally. Four of the yep. wares here. <laughs> yep, so you walk in and he, and you see a normal looking human going, Hi, my name's Bob. Well, hello. <laughs> you look like an honest fellow, Bob. Hi, Maybe a yes, little I bit dour. No, I just make potions. My name's Bob Sims. Nice to meet you. Bob Sims, huh? Yeah. And you notice that as you look up above him, there's this weird diamond rhombus shape kind of floating above his head, and it's yes. bright green right now. Can I call you Bob Sims? Is that, yes. Is that okay here? Yeah, my name's Bob it's, Sims. All right, Bob Sims. <laughs> yes. Let me. What kind of potions you got? All. Well, mainly health potions and the generic ones. We uh -huh. have one that makes people stinky, though. <laughs> how, how, much, that one. how much are the health potions? The health potions. Right now, I'm running a sale. If you buy five, you get them for twenty-five. The whole five. Well, yeah. Not, I had not a surplus. Each, right? No, no, each they're ten. Ah, I see. Well, can we you have give an me outrageous a... surplus of them? I do like to hear that, but yeah. it's just a bit beyond my means. Uh, you see, I'm a poor church fellow. Perhaps there's there's maybe some sort of discount for the great egg. Hmm. Yes. I understand. Somewhat. I know a very strange language, but common does happen to be one of them. So, you can try and get a lower price, but really, we're already selling them 50% off with the buy five, get them for 25. Quite, but, uh, for just for the great day, for the good of the, of the holy and mm -hmm. for the goodness of the world. The work mm -hmm. that I do is very important, and I would hate for the great egg to lose one of one of its mm -hmm. few followers, one of its few true devotees, because mm -hmm. I was insufficiently uh, underprepared because I could not afford it. You see, my church is located in Kuku, and it is, as I'm sure you're aware, quite a small village. There's very little money to go around. Uh, surely you could help a, a poor priest in need. Uh, please give me a... Uh, yes, yes, persuasion. Yes yes, 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 yes. Yeah, let's get some rolls. I'm gonna uh, flip it again. Yeah, it's been doing that for me, too. Okay, so I'm not the only one getting mysterious rolls of anticipation, yeah, waiting to see what roll 20 gives you. <laughs> um, but so I thought that, that you would... Yeah. Yeah. Are you so giving me any bonuses for the actual persuasion I did, or, or what? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You are. Your, your okay, success good. is taken into account. No worries. Very good. So I'd hate to be goes, cheated. Wow. <laughs> you have to... You, have, you run a church in Cuckoo? That sounds so... Though it's the third biggest city on the uh, continent, um, we'll definitely give small. you a discount. We'll give you 
five for ten. How does that sound? Uh, that's... Oh, bless you. Your kind soul will know true generosity by the great I egg. I hope so. I almost got locked in a room once. The door just vanished. It was uh, terrifying. Out of character. Yeah. I really it's don't trust that, that one guy. <laughs> I know quite how that feels. Believe you me. And then I couldn't get around this chair once, and it I stood there for three hours trying to figure yeah. out how. Surely you have evaded death time really and time again. Yeah. I feel like death, I've, death I've haunts lived your many soul. lives. But I'm sure, Bob, that that you will make it through. I will I will pray for you and that you may know peace. Thank you. Thank I, you so uh, much. And I pay up. Yep. And as he turns around, you notice that he just stands there and puts his hands up and goes, uh, da 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 Bazooie York? As he can't get around his chair. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, but, uh, but as long as he manages to eventually get me a potion. Oh I yeah, he them. gives you the five. Yeah, if you're like on a little like tray and different, he gives you the five for oh. ten. All right, Sonny, you're back at Betty Bottoms bookstore. Oh, that's the yep. bookstore? I thought that yep. was the uh, one with just the random assortment of things. Nope, that I is one, chat. and we'll say 12's empty right now. There's no shop there. There's just some boxes. Uh, yeah, one's with the other fun knickknacks. So you walk up, and you see this woman sitting there with this cobalt woman. Why not? And she's sitting there, and she has, like, cards laid out, and she goes... I knew Hello. you were coming to see me. Oh. My crystal ball told me you'd be here, as she points to a crystal ball. Do you want your fortune read? My name being is... As, being as trusting as she is, sure! Ah, yes. Think of something that makes you happy. Fills you up with glee. And now I this is where you get a glimpse into how messed up her mind is. And I will her tell happy you now. of the rotting corpse is at home, helping out with the fields. I mean, nice. that's fair. That's fair. Well, it looks like you will receive justice in your life. A fairness, balance, and law and order. This will be powered by the wind. The crow flies upward with wings open. He has nothing to conceal. His honesty has earned him the respect of his peers, and they know he will take a balanced and fair approach to every situation. This crow of justice brings the message to take the time to see the problem or difficult challenge from all sides before making any decision. It is also time to consider all consequences. If justice is reversed, it may indicate that there is a person who hasn't been completely honest. If you look deep inside, that person may even be yourself. It may be a good time to examine your personal truth. She's just reading tarot cards. <laughs> you, How do you know. see everything? <laughs> Jarvis. <laughs> uh, no, that's fine. Yeah, uh, yeah, I also did pull out my crow tarot cards. But I yeah, know I, where that I did. Is. So, to that. that will be ten gold pieces. For that. Do you have anything fun here? I just told you your future of the day. <laughs> That's fun. It was my service. You answered yes. You agreed to my terms and conditions. Yeah, but do you have any items that are fun? I believe your future is an item. Do you want the card? Do you want the deck? Because it did tell you you're your future, so truly it's. How Do much you is want it? The deck? This one is magical, but you have a connection. I'll give it to you for 10 gold pieces. 
for a total of 20. Yeah, I'll sell it to you for 20. Absolutely. No, I think she meant Can the Can I make a deal for 15? Yes, of course. 15. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to go ahead and roll perception because I feel like I'm being an idiot. I, I think Tori's misunderstanding that you're buying the deck and something else. No. She offered oh. to sell you the deck for 10, but then you offered 20. She's not an idiot well, merchant. She'll pay. She'll take <laughs> more for it. <laughs> <laughs> hold on. Hold on. I thought she was just charging me for the service of reading my future and then selling me the deck. No. She's selling you the deck for 10 since you have a connection with it. <laughs> <laughs> Since <laughs> you have such a connection with this deck. I still have to roll perception because I was an idiot in character and I have to make the realization that I was being an idiot. Good on you, plant. Yep. I don't Hopefully know. Hopefully you do make it. Hopefully you do I make that bad bad. shift then. Uh, I would do an insight roll, actually. Oh, oh insight? More. Yeah. Not perception, insight. Mm. Yeah, you realize what you just did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you realize. Oh, wait, I'm dumb. <laughs> Here's your ten gold. Thank you so much. And as she hands you it, you see a box that says Crow Tarot, created by MJ Cullinan. And you see just a crow with a veil on the front looking to the right. And just looks really great. And we're a OP deck of tarot cards. But and I'm gonna go ahead and add that into my item 